Hey guys, Sal here from World of Tech. Today we're going to be recording from the Microsoft Cinema webcam. Uh, so you may notice occasionally it may focus in, may not. Uh, just really depends. <laughs> um, um, unfortunately though, today is going to be the final show of World of Tech. Um, I know in the past you've seen us kind of just vanish and then come back a couple months later. Well, this is an official announcement stating that World of Tech is done. Now, the channel is going to remain open and I mean we'll let views come in but I don't see us returning back to World of Tech and that's because on the 7th which is this Saturday at approximately 8 o'clock central time at night um, something's gonna be posted on World of Tech so yeah this is the last official World of Tech video uh, and then on Saturday there's gonna be a video posted around 8 o'clock that night um, so I'm short but I want you guys to check it out. I can't say it because I can't say what the project is, but we're moving on to something better, and I hope you guys will enjoy that as well. Um, but anyways, this is basically just going to cover up some things that's been going on. Um, if you notice, I look up here and look back down. I'm looking at the webcam occasionally and back at the screen. Now, the last video that was posted was all good things, dot, 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 and it was basically a highlight of several videos we did um, in the past basically just bringing them back up. Now like I mentioned the videos will remain up and hopefully you guys still enjoy the videos even though we won't be producing anymore. Now I've had several people actually message me uh, asking me why and like I stated I mean it was a hard decision. This is something I've done for a long time. I love the show and I love my viewers. I love the support I get but everybody eventually has to move on and this is something I did when I was younger and you know I just want to move on I'm 20 now and there's more things I want to do than just a tech show um, I guess I kind of anyways like I said though we're gonna do a winner on the case along with that we have a frequently asked question show that we were gonna record uh, a while back uh, before Christmas but we never got to it so I'm gonna answer, answer those questions today and as following several questions the room tour that you guys want to see we'll see about that I don't know um, not much has really changed I can tell you now uh, the small laptop that had Ubuntu on it I don't have it no more I recently just got a PowerBook G4 along with an iBook G4 uh, so yeah those people are saying well you said a Mac's not the standard blah, blah, blah. well a desktop. I don't like Mac desktops. I, I love the laptops just because they're portable and reliable. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get on with the show. Now, I wasn't really prepared to do the giveaway winners, but I need to do it. Uh, I kind of extended it, so hope you guys don't mind. Um, also, I have another case that we received that I was going to do a review on. Unfortunately, it, it broke. Um, I don't know really what happened. I believe it got knocked off the couch and it landed on the chair. The iPod's fine, but the case itself broke. So I guess in a way the case saved the iPod, but I dropped the iPod several times without a case and it's done fine. So because it's just one of those things. Anyways, like I mentioned, we only had I think three people enter the contest. Well, three people actually commented on the video. Several sent me messages, but to actually enter the contest, you had to comment the video, uh, which was stated. So, for this lovely angel pink case that Budget Gadget sent us, thanks to Bella, the winner of this from random.org is the iPod Touch Tips. So, you'll be receiving a message very soon in the inbox for details to ship this out. Um, and if you want to buy one, the SKU code is 7932. Um, so there's the giveaway. Um, and real quick, I just want to give a shout out. If you guys haven't checked them out, check them out. The, uh, the iPod Touch Tips, his links will be in the show notes. Uh, he's been a big supporter of our show. Uh, and he's, been, he's done several shout outs to us. And I would love for people to check his channel out. He does make some good videos. Um, so yeah. There's the giveaway. Now, like I said, this video is going to be kind of long. We're going to cover several things, and this is the final, unfortunately, final video we're going to be doing. So now, let's get on with the World of Tech Frequently Asked Questions. Um, and I'll be looking down to look at the questions that we received. Originally, I was going to do something really fancy where their question was actually going to pop up in a box. There we go. It was going to pop up in a box. 
And but just it's final show. I don't really have motivation to do something like that for the final show. Um, kind of sad to see the show go, but I'll explain later on why. All right. So our first question was, when did World of Tech start? Um, you can check the YouTube channel. I believe it's in 08. I'll check real quick. I believe it was July 2008. Along those lines. Yeah, July 24th of 08 is when the actual channel started. Now, before then, iPod Touch, Bala, uh, a couple other people. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know iPod Touch, Bala, uh, and I actually had planned something like this for a while. He has a famous YouTube channel about iPod, and I have mine. So, yeah. That's when it started. Um, what happened to your past shows, such as Geek Your Way, Tech Your Way, Biggie Boys, or BBCTS Cast? Yes, I did have all those shows. Um, Geek Your Way was just an idea, it was an inspiration. World of Tech was kind of getting old to me because, like bef I mentioned before, it's something I've done and I want something new. Uh, so Geek Your Way was kind of us geeks coming in your way to provide support. Now it wasn't just going to be a YouTube show, it was also going to be a business for computer repair and whatnot, but I only made I think a couple of videos and that was about it. <laughs> uh, as far as Tech Your Way, that actually went pretty good I thought. Um, what was it? We had a website, everything was going good for us, but Again, I just got bored of it, so I moved on, unfortunately. And as Biggie, Biggie Ag Boys, or Biggie Boys, and BBCTS cast, that was pretty much a joke show, unfortunately. I worked with Kyle Forrest and Chris Ellis on the Biggie Ag Boys. That was a joke show. We were going at, at uh, after Vince Bognot, V Bognot 626 or something like that on YouTube at the time. Um, and then it was, we were mainly like an interview. Like if you check all our videos out, it was just interview. And then as BBCTS cast, uh, that was with Jake Smith, I believe, and we had we had a blast. We we did a lot. Um, yeah, we covered a lot of stuff. I think BBCTS cast was when when I really started to realize that this is what I want to do, and then that's when I made World of Text soon after. Um, our next question is. Do you still plan on doing giveaways? Now, this of course was before I posted that all things dot dot dot. Um, no, I don't plan on doing any more giveaways. At least not for a while. Especially with World of Tech. World of Tech's done. In my eyes, it's done. The videos will stay up. I know a lot of people still watch our videos from when we first started, uh, and I appreciate and I thank you guys right now for that. Um, definitely a dedicated fan. Um, but unfortunately, no. Uh, we do have a couple of giveaways that we did plan on, which was like a camera giveaway. Um, maybe later on down the road, I may post a giveaway video for that. But like I said again, I'm basically giving getting away from World of Tech. I don't want to make any more videos, unfortunately, uh, for this channel. Um, are you going to? Next question is: Are you going to do a room tour soon? Uh, I already answered that. I don't plan on doing a room tour anytime soon. Uh, let's see. I got rid of my Xbox 360. It uh, didn't work too swell anymore. Uh, I still have the Toshiba laptop, but I'm trying to get rid of it. Uh, I still have two external 500 gig hard drives. I have an iBook G4. I have a PowerBook G4. That's really the only thing that's changed. I play my PS3 a lot. And working on my project. That's about all I do lately. Um, so yeah, no, I don't plan on doing a room tour, unfortunately. Um, when will we see the tutorial on how to use Wax 2? Now this was in regards to the how to make your own green screen for under ten dollars, and really it was probably under seven dollars uh, because all you gotta do is you can use any type of uh, poster board or fabric that's bright, um, and it works but green just because it's called a green screen, why not? Um, the program was free. Uh, do I plan on making a tutorial for it? Probably not. 
you can search YouTube. There's other great tutorials out there on how to use wax. And I just wasn't a fan. It takes a while because even after you make the video, you usually have to um, convert it to a different file format. And it took a while to actually make that video. So, no, I don't plan on making a tutorial for wax too. But, like I said, Google is your friend along with YouTube, so just search. Um, this came from Ubuntu Help Guy. I don't know, it's been a while, sorry. Uh, do you think Unity slash Ubuntu will survive? Um, assuming, assuming, wow. I assume you mean Unity and Ubuntu, but in both cases, Ubuntu, yes. Ubuntu is a strong operating system, better than Windows, personally, in my opinion. Uh, along with that, it's kind of comparable to a Mac, so I do see Ubuntu sitting around. Now, Unity, I wasn't a big fan of when it first was released on 11.04, but after some changes in the 11.10 release, I became a fan of it. I think it's easier and it looks a lot cleaner. So, yes, I think Unity will still be released. And if you don't like Unity, because a lot of people don't, you can always, before boot up, switch back to the class classic. But takes away from the feel, I think. So yes, I, I do think both will survive. Your favorite KDE or GNOME? Um, I, GNOME 3, my favorite. KDE. I, I personally, it doesn't really matter. You give me any type of Ubuntu operating system and I'll enjoy it. Now people say Ubuntu is for noobs on Linux, but I tried other Linux distro, distros. Wow, focus, it gets out of focus a lot. Um, and I just I don't see myself using another Linux distro. Ubuntu is the only one that I actually like that I still could program and enjoy and have a great look to it. Now yeah I did get rid of the Ubuntu laptop but my desktop which has Windows 7 on it yeah, I have Ubuntu as a dual boot. Um, what are some videos you really enjoyed from the past of your three years of making videos? Now that is a very good question. I'm not really sure what my favorite video. Um, there's several videos I actually enjoyed when making all what 80 some odd videos I have. At least for World of Tech. Now if you're talking about my other shows I can't help you there. Um, let's check my favorite few shows that I did. Of course all my tours in my Geeks Room I enjoyed because I showed you guys what my workspace is and I always can look back and see how much it changed. Um, probably some videos coming in Ubuntu. I enjoyed Ubuntu a lot. Um, the Windows versus Mac, that was enjoyable. Um, and then of course, how to make poof, that was my favorite. And unfortunately it was really cold in making that video, but it was extremely fun to do. Um, so yeah, that, that was probably my favorite videos of World of Tech. Next question is my favorite game for the PS3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. So for the PS3, I'd have to say Battlefield 3. I know it's not a PS3 only game, but I own it for the PS3. I enjoy it. Um, Madden 12, it's one of my favorite games. Uh, PS3 exclusive, I'd probably say Heavy Rain, that game is very challenging and fun, and it's PS3 only, uh, along with Metal Gear Solid, I love that game, um, and they recently just launched it for Xbox, and Twisted Metal, which hopefully the new one comes out, I believe, around Valentine's Day, so yeah, those are my favorite PS3 games. Now, for my 360, um, Halo. I'd have to say Halo was. That's what made me get a um, 360 in the first place was because of Halo. So I'd say Halo. But after Halo Reach, I played that and I was just like, eh, it's not the same anymore. They're just dragging the story on, on and on and on. And then, of course, my favorite game for the Wii, uh, two games, which would be Super Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong. Those two are my favorite games. Alright, and this is the final question that I recently received, I believe yesterday, and it was, why are you ending World of Tech? Like I mentioned before, it's not because I don't enjoy making the videos, because I do enjoy making every video I do, I enjoy. But the problem with it is, I just I don't have time, it seems. 
Um, I, I rush a lot of the videos. I don't edit the videos. I don't take the time that I probably should take on the videos. So that that was part of the reason. The second part is, is like I said earlier in the video, the beginning of the video. Um, I, you know, I'm 20 now, and I know some that may not seem anything, but to me, I'm one of those people. You know, I did World of Tech when I was young. I was 16, 15 when I did World of Tech. As I get older, I want to I want to move on with it. I want to grow from that. I learned from doing World of Tech. I learned it's hard getting people to actually follow you. I learned that you know, quality in videos is important. So for me, I think it's just to learn that you know, with me moving on with World of Tech shows that I'm growing up, you know, I'm learning that World of Tech isn't always everything. Now, and, and no, I'm not returning Geek Your Way or Tech Your Way or Biggie Boys or BBC TS. Not all those shows, I'm done with. I, I quit all those to come here to World of Tech, and I just hope you guys wish me the best on to what we do. Um, and like I said, the 7th, you will see a video, and hopefully you guys will follow, and you guys can still keep in touch with me. That's why I wrote text ending. It's just it's not fun anymore to me. Um, I mean, it's just true. Unfortunately. But it was a very hard decision to say, I'm done with it. Because it's something I've done for three, four years now. I spent a lot of time into it. Um, but like I said, sometimes you just gotta move on with it. And it's hard, but when you realize it and hopefully after I see the outcome of my project it'll be worth it so that's why um, so yeah that's basically it for today's video sorry if I really didn't pay attention to the webcam that much um, I just was watching the screen and trying to keep up with what all I was planning to say today um, and real quick to show you the case it's not really broken that bad there's a nick uh, and right there and then down at the bottom somewhere yeah I don't know iPod touch tips if you want this I'll give it I don't care I don't want it but hopefully you guys appreciate everything um, I know a lot of people want to know what I got for Christmas uh, I got a graphics card DVD recorder so I can record my gameplay because I've been doing some commentaries on uh, Battlefield along with Madden 12 uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff. It's hard to keep up, so if you guys want to know. But like I said, unfortunately it's in. Hopefully you guys like this video and understand why I'm ending World Attack. Uh, but like I said, don't quit watching yet because on the 7th I will have a video posted and I want you guys to watch it because it is something new. A new project and you guys will love it. I promise. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for today's final show. Um, I enjoyed everybody and you can just send me a private message if you want to and I'll inform you what is going on on the project and yeah so final words and unfortunately our slogan goes and as we always say here at World of Tech stay with me guys get plugged in see you later guys <laughs>